laid on some jelly spoons. Yes, we've got a beautiful, 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 as you can see, a uh, beautiful blue uh, Gibson Les Paul Studio from 2004 for you uh, today, tonight, this evening, morning. Mm. And uh, so let's have a listen to it and then uh, I shall talk you round it. Let's go. <laughs> pick up time and starting with the bridge position in the uh, noisy or distorted setting. Let's have a listen. <laughs> some time, I would imagine. Into the centre. Thank you. 
good stuff. Alrighty, uh, let's have a listen to them on clean. And again, starting with the bridge position, everything's flat out, there's no push pull nonsense, this is 2004. <laughs> Let's have a look from stem to stern and we will start with the headstock and as we can see on the front face of the headstock there is absolutely no finish checking whatsoever it's as clean as a whistle and of course it's uh, got the gibson and les paul gold silk screen and the truss rod cover bears the legend studio which it certainly is finish checking on the headstock is normal like i say there's none however there is um that feature more or less everywhere else uh, let's just have a quick look at the paintwork before we have a look at the rest of the bits and bobs so there is a chip there there is stand rash there there yes there uh, that we can see and there is a chip down here somewhere it look there? Somewhere, uh, let me take this off. Yes, there is a chip. And it's, oh, it's gone. It's magically repaired itself. Oh, there it is, I think, is that it? There's a bit of something there. Hmm, that must be it. Uh, Emma, anyway, the main point is, is that this is certainly one of those that has those striated marks uh, really pretty much everywhere. Um, they even extend to the back of the guitar. Let me get it in the right light for you. And even onto the neck, there is evidence of the striations there as well. I mean, oh, you know, all of the joints are absolutely intact and there's been no there's no evidence of any uh, breaks or cracks in the actual woodwork it's just that just the paint but this there that, that is really oh well, that's good uh, or well you know at least it's uh, good that you can see it uh, but this is very 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 common with Gibsons, especially from this era. Oh, that, yes, there is that uh, little chip that I was on about. Uh, but uh, it is, yes, it's common. It's, I like to describe it as a feature rather than a flaw because you'll find, if it really, if you're expecting, especially to find a metal plate Gibson from this era with none of that feature on it, then you'll probably be quite disappointed. And actually, it's something that that they, I think they still manage to do it now for some reason. They never seem to figure out how to not have that. Anyway, on to the specs and whatnot. We have a mahogany neck, of course, that is set into a mahogany uh, body. And like I said, the most important areas are where the head meets the neck and where the neck meets the body. And we've got no, no issues there at all. Uh, you've got uh, Gibson Deluxe Tuners and a rosewood fretboard with um, perloid, I assume, uh, perloid uh, inlays on the rosewood fretboard there. 22 frets in very, very good order. It's got new strings on it. Pickups 498 in the bridge here, which is popping out 13 plus and a 490 R in the neck position, which is popping out what it should do, which is late sevens, I think. But you'll see some 
some numbers back here. It's got to, it, yeah, this guitar really is totally, totally original. It even comes with the original hard shell Gibson case. Uh, you've got uh, speed knobs, obviously, two volumes, two tones, uh, the original scratch plate, and matching poker chip and um, a metal uh, thingy. Uh, for the exhaust pipe there, as opposed to uh, the modern plastic items. Uh, so, really, if you are in the market for one of these, and you're expecting to find one without any of that kind of checking, you see, from front on like this, you you really wouldn't know. You you wouldn't have the first idea. It's only when you get it into those certain lights that you can see those striations. But as I say, a common feature with um, with pretty much all, certainly all the metal plates and even some of the some of the flat colours as well. Uh, whether it's a, a primer issue or something else, nobody seems to know. Gibson aren't helpful with it at all. They just say, yeah, it happens. And uh, that, so anyway, so that's that. Lovely, lovely, lovely guitars. They sound amazing. Um, uh, 2004, I think, is 2004 the end of the Goodwood era? <sighs> well, what I can tell you is that this is very, very, very nicely put together and it is so easy to play. The action's exactly where it should be and, uh, yeah, in great nick and will give joy for many years to come. Right, thank you all ever so much for tuning in and I shall see you soon. It's Adios Amigos. Ta-ra.